Hello everyone who's busy in the summer. Um, so today we got our taste buds as you could see below. Um, so we decided we were gonna make the one pot garlic parmesan pasta. Comes with the instructions on the back and it says it's an exclusive seasoning. So we are using a garlic parmesan seasoning. Um, I'm super excited for this. I love garlic and we love pasta. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna move you over here. All right, so we are gonna do this in the um, Dutch oven just cause it is a one pot meal. So it says to combine the broth fettuccine half and half and the seasoning. So we are going to combine one cup, one and a half cups of chicken broth. So there's one cup. There is half a cup and we got half a cup of half and half. All right, half a cup of half and half. We need two tablespoons of seasoning. Oh, it smells so good. So there's one and two. So we are also gonna add shrimp in with it. So this is exciting. All right, we have our fettuccine noodles. So it says eight ounces. Now I got about 16, so we're gonna cut in half here. Hopefully this is half. Looks like it. So in real authentic, Italian. You never break your noodles. I did learn that. And then we're just going to add in our shrimp. Just need a pair of scissors. So we're going to add in our shrimp there. You can also add in some chicken. We're going to put our lid on and we're going to put it over medium heat. Right? Cover and bring to a boil. So once it's at a boil, then we will lower the heat to low and simmer. So we'll listen for it to boil while we wait on that. We will grate some peas. Woo! So, we're just going to point you down so you can see everything. Alright, so we have our Parmesan. We're going to use our citrus juice and press. I absolutely love this for grating Parmesan. Um, I like the fact that it's got a little container to catch it in. The only thing you have to make note of is because it is for zesting, you do have to run your cheese quite light on it, but you'll get the same effect as if you're using a fine grater. So I do tell people to make sure to hold it on. Um, so I like to lean it against me and hold the tip. Otherwise you do have clips on the front here, but not on the back. So when you pull away, it does have a tendency 
to pull away as well. So I just like to make sure everything is in place. So the nice thing about the taste buds this month is they're all exclusive seasonings. Um, the ranch one will come out for September 1st. The other two though are a one-time shot. So I'm super excited about it. I absolutely think it's amazing. It smells so good. And even better, it is like a light powder. So instead of being a normal rub, it is like a nice light powder. So the other reason I really like the taste buds is on the card, it has your little recipe and then it's got some little pointers down here. So easy change ups. Um, you can pack with protein. Uh, there's more spice if you like. So if you want it a little spicier, you can add red pepper flakes. Um, another pasta preference. So if you don't like fettuccine, you want something else, you're more than welcome. And then it says one more reason to season. If you don't have the garlic Parmesan, you can use our garlic and herb rub, which is also super tasty. So it tells you how many it serves. So it says four. It takes five minutes to prep. I'd say that was less than five and 30 minutes to cook. So super fun and easy. We are all ready for it to finish. So once it hits a boil, we'll stick it on simmer. And then we're just gonna toss in some butter and Parmesan when it's done and it is going to be amazing. So I will post a picture once it is all finished. I hope you enjoyed this quick little live and uh, have a great evening. Bye. Yeah. All right, so we are back and we are going to finish up our one pot garlic Parmesan pasta with shrimp. So let's just Get back to it. As you can, as you can tell, my house is a rat race. So we're just gonna take the lid off. So the nice thing I like about this is it's got this really nice lid that keeps the moisture in. So it actually comes up, steams up, hits these bumps and goes back in. Love it. So we're just gonna leave it on low, I believe. I don't think we turn it off. Um, so we're just gonna stir it up here, make sure the noodles are all broken up. It smells super good. So I added in some peas. It smells so garlicky. So, we're going to add in a tablespoon of butter. And we're going to add in our fresh Parmesan we grated. Whoop, got Parmesan running away. Look how tasty that is. Whoo. And that is literally our one pot dish. So how good does that look right now, hey? So thank you everyone for joining us today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed our one pot dinner. So see you.